Okay, let's carry on with episode 2 of Digimon Adventure PSP. And I am going to be playing as Tai Chi in this episode again. All the other kids can become leaders, but at the moment I'm just going with Tai Chi. Um, I think I'm going to tweak the team a little bit, um, give all the others some air time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Welcome to episode two, ladies and gentlemen. This is based on the second episode of the anime series. Um, loading, loading, loading. I'm not expecting this to be a short playthrough. I'm expecting this to actually last for quite a while. It's never a bad thing finding a playthrough that lasts, but some people might disagree with that. Well, we're all safe. We're not dead. These kids look overly happy. Well, apart from Joe. You know, for being in this mysterious world that they have known nothing about. I don't know. Okay. You get to actually have a look-see at these new monsters a bit properly. Properly, huh? Oh, I've no idea what they're talking about. I'm presuming they're talking about their digivolution or their evolution. Sorry, that's the thing with me. I'm broken English. Right? <laughs> yeah, they shinkered. Okay, <laughs> they evolved. they're talking about their evolutions and how their evolutions made them stronger and more capable of taking out certain baddies like that giant bug which let's face it is much weaker than pretty much every other um, big bug like that okay so Now they're just talking randomly. No voicing or stuff. I don't care. I'm never gonna get food, oh, no! oh, shut up, Mimi. You're making my ears hurt. <laughs> I, don't, I never really figured out which was my favourite out of these seven kids. Right, so now I'm back in the other world again. It's kind of like a set path almost, there's different parts of overworld and stuff. It don't all mesh together. But whatever, I think that was an item. Oh yeah, yeah. You can uh increase the stats of your of all your Digimon with like these different things like boost their I think boost their attack there at points or something like that. Don't expect me to know what I'm sticking on to them. See there's all the others got them. Mats, um, Zoras, I think that flowery shaped one is Mimi's, um, that is Palmon. Don't know what the C is. Uh. Meh. But I think we can level up on it. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me how this all works. I'm just trying to work it out as I go along, really. So, uh,. Yeah, sure. If I understood Japanese, this would be a cinch, but I don't, and I have no intention of learning. Nah! Okay, you can stop gossiping now. So there's another save point, and an item box. So this is where the real tutorial kicks in. Okay. Okay, um, why the hell not? If I head backwards, I can head out to the main menu and shit, but I don't really want to. I'm going to save. Okay. Let's pick up that item. See what it is. Okay. Head over here now. 
Okay. Yeah, you don't just battle the Digimon that they faced exclusively in the anime. You'll also face like random sort well, not quite random because you can see them. But there's other encounters like let's take on this Numamon. There's no harm in uh, grinding to get some experience. Um, and yeah, certainly not a bad idea. Making a game based on the anime. I love the anime! <laughs> well, the first three seasons, that's the only one I really watched. Um, I'm gonna go in with one of these attacks. Oh, that is cool! That is so powerful! Newman ones are really, really weak though, so I'm not too surprised by that. The victory post always lands on the one that dealt the last blow, so... Don't matter if there's a main Digimon that did most of the work in the fight. <laughs> it, it don't matter, Jot. So they're up to level 2 now. I think I might switch in. I just press start, go down to this option here. I can switch my team around a little bit. I can't switch Agamon out because Ty's the leader of the group, but I can switch the rest around. Uh, there's a Betamon, let's take it on. <laughs> well, I'm not going to include every single fight. I mean, Jesus, that would be boring, wouldn't it? If I do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut it out. I'm not too worried. When I do commentary, um, when I record on this program, sometimes the sound cuts out, but it still records, if you get what I mean. It's just really weird. I'm going to go with the two SP attacks and see how that goes. Well, that's still quite powerful. Yeah, I have no control over what the others Digimon do at the moment, so they're going to be wasting their SP points and there's nothing I can do about it at the moment until... Well, actually there is. I could just go up here and... Oh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I must have got that wrong. But I do know that you can, I think, roughly give a rough idea as to what you want the AI to do with them. Yeah, dear. Right, they're all up to level 2 now, so maybe I should just go back to Garbumon and Pal Biamon. Piomon. However you want to fucking pronounce it, who cares? The bird! <laughs> okay. I do want to make sure that everyone gets an equal amount of experience, really. Everyone's sort of at an equal level. Um, it's the option menu. Let's have a look, see. Why the hell not Agamon can have that? It's the only one I've got at the moment, but... I think this is sort of like statistics. Um, you can also click on that, and you can see the Digi, well, the chosen children, let's say. I nearly said Digi Destin, but I caught myself. And you can have a look at their Kazuna ranks, which is basically a friendship ranks. I would say that they're kind of important. They're not the most important thing in the world, but I would say they're kind of important. Particularly if, towards the end of the game, you want to unlock all the other Mega Forms. Agumon and Gabumon will always get their Mega Forms. But the rest won't. Not unless you have a high enough Kazuna rank with the actual chosen children themselves. Basically, the Kazuna rank is the relationship rank, so you want to try and rank up your friendship with the other kids as much as you possibly can. This can be kind of annoying because you've got to. You kind of have to talk to them, and there's all these options you have to pick. Um, like, you'll have a multi option sort of like discussion where you can pick your answer and you have to pick the right answer if you want to rank up otherwise you don't rank up with them at all um, I'll hit that one Pepper Breath sounds Pepper Breath sounds funnier than Baby Flame and more threatening as well like I'm gonna burp in your fucking face and there's nothing you can do about it 
Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pokemon's leveled up again. It's not going to take long for these guys to level up to begin with, but it is going to gradually slow down. There's another item over there. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I am actually playing this off my actual PSP, so don't anyone go, Oh my god, it's an emulator! How did you possibly do that? I'm recording it off my actual PSP. I have a PSP 2000, I have an AV cable, and I have an easy cap video capture pro or something from Home's Tech. And that's kind of how I'm doing it at the moment. It works for me, it's a cheaper solution than having to pay out for other things. Uh, I hate not having control over the other characters, so I did get a little way into the game. Yeah. Not particularly far, I mean, it wasn't before I fought the main first villain, but, uh, oh crap, I think, I think Piamon's been poisoned, because her health bar's sort of gone purple. I'll take you out. This should take you out very quickly. <laughs> yeah, one shot. Yeah, one shot, yeah, you bastard. See? Yeah, Piamon's having damage taken to her taking damage every single turn. It's not too surprising, especially with Numamon throwing poo at me and it's mushroom I'm actually, it's doing all the damage. Let's take you out quick before you decide to turn on Arcumon as well. But unlike Pokemon, I don't think the poison lasts. Um Yeah that takes care of you. <laughs> ah, another one bites dust. I think from this point on I should probably start cutting the battles out. I'm sticking with them because I want to level my team up and, well, Gummamon and Patamon all leveled up as well. I don't understand how that happened, but okay. I might just keep these main three up in front, actually. I just can't be bothered to keep switching. They will level up eventually. Um, item over here. From now on I think I'm probably going to cut the battles out. It's going to be a bit of tedious on my part, but it'll be less tedious on everyone else's part, so who the hell cares, right? Carry on up. Oh, come on. What are you stopping me for? <laughs> what you stop me for? I was doing so well. chatting to Mimi here. And we instantly ranked up. Sometimes that happens, you can just have a conversation and instantly rank up. But yeah, this tutorial is sort of now talking about ranking up with your friends. This is awesome because it means you can sort of, I don't know, get free attacking or something in battle as well. I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, it boosts your friendship. See, I've got a two next to Mimi. That means Mimi's relationship with Ty is stronger than all the others at the moment because of its uh because I ranked up. I believe there's two another person that I can rank up with, and that is this little chap here, TK. Takeru. And it's option one, I think. Yes, I'm cheating, bite me. <laughs> I want to show off the mega forms <laughs> if I can. But yeah, TK Takeru is the only other person I can rank up with. The rest, meh, you just talk to him and, well, I've kind of got to talk to him in order to proceed. I'm making that sound like an obligation, I've got to talk to them. I don't want to, but I've got to. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm just kind of cutting past them talking a lot because I just want to get back to the action. <sighs> Sorry. Why do you spend so much time on your computer, Kushiro? Um, anyone else? Sora? I haven't spoken to you yet. I 
haven't got the foggiest clue what you're saying, so I'm just going to be like, yay, they look happy, so I'm presuming it's good. Mimi, shall I talk to you again? Even though I've already spoke to you once. Yeah, that, that's that. I think that was basically just to cover Kazuna rank. Um, you can't Kazuna rank with everybody, it's sort of set. Like, if you see an option, like, a multi-option conversation with someone, like, I just did with TK, or Takeru, sorry, I'll keep doing that. Um, I can then enter. If I enter in the right answer, I can rank up with that person. Which is why I'm cheating and using the walkthrough, because it's just so, so hard otherwise to know. You're just, like, guessing. There's a 50-50 chance you could completely get it wrong and then not rank up. I mean, you don't have to rank up every single time, but ranking up a fair few times is probably going to be your best bet. I'm trying to rank up as much as possible because I do want to show off these mega forms if I get that far. I'm definitely intending to get that far. Another item. I don't know if I want to fight that mushroom mon because mushroom mon don't play fair. They poison. I'll fight shit thrower. Ah, fuck it, I'll, count. I'll start cutting out the battles after this part. I promise! I'm getting funny looks now. Um. Yeah, let's take out this uh, little fucker. I don't see why I'm getting funny looks, because no one do throw shit. Speaking of which, I'll go to the bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually live commentary. This is a brand new thing for me. I'm actually playing this game and commentating on it at the same time, and I'm kind of excited about it. Yay! I've never done this shit before. It's awesome. Alright. Forgive me if I do get lost sometimes. There's an item. Yeah, I don't intend to get lost, but it can happen, and it will happen, so forgive me if it does happen, okay? Uh, excuse me. As for what it is, I'm going to try and keep all the episodes into kind of like just like one sort of part, really. Um, just to try and save me posting shit tons of videos at the same time. Um, boom! <laughs> Spiral Twister. Or magic fire, magical fire, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I think this name's funny though for this attack. Baby flame. That's not a baby flame, that's a powerful fucking flame. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna get more powerful later on when he evolves again, but yeah. The evolutions in Digimon work completely differently than what they do in Pokemon, so don't expect like anything to be too samey. And these guys are now up to level four. I think I really, I really should switch over. I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to switch over real quick. Um, sorry, but you're getting too strong, and then there are going to be others that just lag behind, and I don't want that. I don't want any laggers. I want everyone to roughly be on a similar, if not same, page. Um, I'm hoping I'm going the right way here. I should be. Uh, fuck no, another po. Oh, I keep. I nearly said Pokemon then. <laughs> Last for me. I mean, I already mentioned Digimon in my Pokemon Black playthrough, so who the fuck cares if I mention Pokemon in my Digimon playthrough? I'm a fan of both. I'm not one of those picky fuckers that has to. That's like, right, that's it. You have to like one or the other. You can't like both. I'm not I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think it is stupid to just assume you have to like one or the other and like, oh, you can't like both. I think that is really stupid. See, here's the uh, Kazuna Link in action in battle. I think that also enabled Palmon's attack to be much stronger as well. Because uh, Tai boosted his rank with... Uh, ranked up with Mimi. So if I was that pattern in battle there's always there's always gonna be a higher chance as well that I could boost the Kazuna rank. Well the Kazuna rank could boost Patamon's attack or Apamon's attack. 
So that's both ways. Okay. Um. Okay then. Okay, buddy. Where are we gonna go? Okay, that's good. You guys are level three. That's good. <laughs> You're catching up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No! Don't you dare poison me. I mean it. I will not stand for being poisoned. <laughs> okay. Righty ho. Um. Let's take you out. You, you shouldn't be too tough. I mean, I'm going to focus on Mushroom on first. Just so that the fuck I don't poison anyone. Ah, oh, fucking it. Poison tends I'm on. Don't like mushroom mon. So I'm gonna take you out first just because you're a dick. <laughs> well, you can't poison anyone else, you little shit. I think Tentamon, if I remember rightly the first time I picked this up and gave it a quick whiz, Tentamon's actually quite defensive, I think, if I remember rightly. I think it's quite defensive to begin with. I think I poisoned that. I'm not sure, I think I might have poisoned him or not. Because Palmon's capable of poisoning, I think. Yeah, Palmon's capable of poisoning. Well, that's not bad. I think the problem with Palmon is she's not very defensive at all. She takes a lot of damage very quickly. But she can, she's can. she got quite a fair bit of offense behind her, so I can let her off. Tentamon's the opposite. Not very offensive, but seems to be very defensive. If I remember rightly, I'm, I'm just guessing based on how much like each attack deals on each of the teammates I've got. Right, so now you're you're all caught up. That's good. I should probably put Gaimamon and Patamon in. Yeah. Sorry guys, this is rather tedious just watching me constantly switch. But I think it's better. Then I can ensure that my team are all well rounded and you know all that jazz actually I don't know I think I might go back to Gabumono and uh... Biamon Piamon whatever mainly because I'm going to fight a boss real soon so I'll switch to you two in the next episode I promise I promise I promise <laughs> But I want something quite powerful on my side. And these guys are quite powerful. Because even though this is mainly going to be Argamon's fight. Eh, there's still kind of a, a slight downside. I don't know if I should do a non, post a non-commentary version. But I still haven't decided on that yet. I would like to. I just don't want to get done for any copyright infringement or something stupid like that. And I would love so love. Well, I really want to do a commentary version on this. Because there's no other commentary versions up at the time that I recorded this. At least, not that I knew of. I wasn't really looking for speak, but. Um, I don't know. There's quite a fair few non commentary versions up already. I don't know if I'm going to bother or not. Whatever. Okay. Okay, now I can talk to all my friends again. Does anyone need to be ranked up? I don't think they do. I think that I've already done all my ranking up. Takeru? I've already ranked up with you, so I'm not too concerned. In fact, I think I don't need to rank up with anybody here. According to the uh, quick guide that I got off the internet. I don't really need to. I think I've already done all the ranking up that I need to do today. In this episode, I should say. Okay, Sora. Kushiro. Yeah, no ranking up. Cutscene! Well, not quite. <laughs> now what? Let's have a picnic! God, these guys go on and on and on. Because the sound's turned off on my capture device. It is still recording the sound, but 
it's just not coming out to me. I suppose it's ideal for commentary purposes. So, as it kind of points out the digivices. And then we're all going to have a picnic. <laughs> After as he goes on the internet, plays World of Warcraft or whatever the fuck people want to play nowadays on their computers. <laughs> if I remember right, in the anime, Takara had loads of candy on him. Why would you carry around that much candy? You're going to end up a beast, don't you know? <laughs> Even the tiniest little bit of sugar is bad for you. You could end up with beast with just like the teeniest pinch of sugar. Yeah, some people really overreact nowadays. Really, I mean, a little bit of sugar's not going to kill anybody. God, you guys go on for ages. You're not even boosting the Kazuna rank, so why fucking bother? Shut up! <laughs> it's an earthquake! Either that or Joe's had a really massive fart. <laughs> no, that's enough. We're greeted by our next big opponent, Shaman! Believe it or not, this guy's actually a rookie. Um, sorry, I, I am referring to them as their English sort of thing. I think the Japanese version is child. You don't look anything like a child. It looks like a great big ugly monster. And it's actually quite powerful as well for it child quote unquote child <laughs> so Tai Chi's being an idiot which is not the first time you're going to see anything like that um Agumon's going to come into the rescue fuck me that's a scary face <laughs> And another Digivolution sequence, or Evolution sequence, or Shinka sequence, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. I kind of think this is cool. So anyway, this is our first Shinka sequence. Um, Agumon evolves into Greymon. I think Greymon's referred to as an adult. In the Japanese version, it's um, referred to... Not Japanese version. The English dub it's referred to as the champion form. I don't really care. I refer to it by whatever the fuck I want to refer to it as. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, it evolved again. I mean, it already evolved once, why wouldn't it evolve again? <laughs> okay. Um. Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Yeah, you still have to have two others fight with you in battle, even though the fight is mainly going to be down to Greymon. <laughs> this is awesome. Because these guys are going to do practically nothing. <laughs> You're just going to be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to open this guy and that's it. Look at how much damage he does to them! Wow! Kind of beggar's belief. In the anime, they didn't have the strength to fight, so that's why it had to be Greymon, because Greymon was the only one that ate something. The pig. So he barely does damage to Greymon at all. Um, this should be the last shot to finish this off. Not hard at all. That takes care of that. Okay, and uh, no, um, no leveling up this time. Oh well, boo hoo. Be bloody hoo for you. And Agumon's back to his dinkier, lizardy self. Why couldn't you have stayed like that? <laughs> So, I'm presuming they're talking about the fact that he evolved again. God, is he done off, go on. So yeah, they're talking about the uh, evolution. You can now evolve 
Agamon whenever you like. You just press the L button. And fuck me. The boobs have burnt down. Oh no. <laughs> we'll never get home now. The boobs have burnt down. And that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm going to take on a subquest with Joe. See you later.